Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt the Guitar Maniac and today I'm going to take a close look at vintage vibrato or vintage tremolo system made by German brand Charlo. It's a two-point non-locking vibrato system with a really nice uh, quality that you expect from Charlo. It comes in nice uh, box, it has all the springs, screws and tools to install it and interesting thing, it has uh, the same whammy bar or vibrato arm as uh, the one that Floyd Rolls has, so you can easily swap them out. Out. And the only reason why I decided to try out this model is because I'm trying to upgrade my Ibanez. Basically, I want to get rid of the locking vibrato system. Well, actually, I can use uh, the original Floyd rolls with non locking nut and locking tuners, and I mentioned all this in my previous video. However, there is no point of uh, using the fine tuners or all this uh, sophisticated mechanism. So I decided to try out the Schaller Vintage Vibrato. Basically, because uh, the dimension between the blades of the Schaller is uh, the same that the Floyd Rolls has. And you can easily swap uh, them out. So let's try them out. Swapping out those systems seems to be an easy task. The knives fit perfectly well. You put some springs, you put some strings, and then you face the first problem. Usually, the base plate of your vibrato system should be parallel to the strings. And you can do it with the shallow vibrato system, because the sustain block touches uh, the wood of uh, your Floyd Rolls cavity. You can do some unorthodox thing and put it slightly angled, and it would actually work, but only on the way down. And you can pull it uh, the same way as you would do with the Floyd Rolls. You can actually cut out uh, some wood, but I wouldn't go through trouble modifying uh, my Ibanez guitars and I wouldn't cut a piece of wood. But otherwise, this uh, system works perfectly well. And if you are a luthier and you design your own guitar from a scratch, you can actually uh, grab this uh, Schaller vintage vibrato system. There are a couple of more tests that I would like to do with this vintage vibrato system. There are a lot of stereotypes like Floyd Rose is nothing but a huge piece of metal that kills the sound of the wood or that guitar with fixed bridge has better sustain than guitar with the uh, vibrato system. And now I can try all these uh, uh, stereotypes and check them out using one guitar. First of all, I'll do a sustain test with Floyd Rose, then with the vintage vibrato system from Schaller and the vintage vibrato system from Schaller, which is uh, fixed and uh, doesn't move, uh, sort of imitating the fixed bridge.
And in another test I want to figure out if all these systems sound differently. Do you hear any major difference? That's for you to decide. As for me, well, this vintage vibrato system uh, has nice quality and it has a reasonable price, about 115 euro. So if you are luthier and design your guitar from scratch, you can easily use it. And maybe you come up with some design where you can uh, easily swap between uh, Floyd Rose and uh, vintage vibrato back and forth. So this is definitely the way to go. If you want to upgrade your guitar to go from Floyd Rose to non-locking vibrato, well, if you are ready to go through the trouble and cut uh, some piece of wood of your uh, vibrato cavity, well, you can use it as well. And so, that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking.